um, there are certain vital important things you know that i wanted to tell you uh, because i feel you know my role as a teacher is to transform you into a better human being better and a productive human being because next to your parents i think uh, it is always the teachers you know who carry that responsibility anybody who has taken that uh, mentor role in your life it could be your brother sister a proper teacher your spouse anybody who has taken that role i think you know they are truly responsible to transform your life to next level of excellence so here i have you know uh, i see something called as habit installation protocol if you see this i call it as habit installation protocol so people can tell that you know you made a good job <laughs> when you have your habits properly habits your habits are very very important very very important for you so what mr robin sharma says here is <clears throat> um normally you know in the indian uh, uh mythology or for some scientific reasons you know what people say is if you do any activity consistently for 21 days that becomes your habit have you heard of it yeah you do something for 21 days that becomes your habit now what mr robin sharma says is like in order to for a habit to be inculcated it takes 66 days 66 days for a habit to be inculcated okay and what he says is uh, he divides you know this habit installation process into three stages into three stages and each stage has like 22 days and totally 66 days so while we have grown up or we believe in the theology that you do anything consistently for you know 21 days or 40 days you know like uh, in christianity or in islam uh, they believe in 40 days uh, uh, you know fasting and things like that and uh, other faiths you know they may talk about you know 21 days and things like that now what mr robin sharma says is like 66 days which is divided into three stages three stages so what he says is the first stage is the destruction stage what do we mean by destruction sir we are talking about life and uh, why are we talking about destruction here now what he says is in stage 1 destruction we destroy our old habits and try to implement new ones new ones so in the morning you know if you want to exercise or be on time to your office you know with without getting those uh, stinkers from your manager or your boss or anybody you know your hr or admin you have to sleep early in the night <laughs> you have to make sure you know you get those 7 uh, hours of sleep and uh, not get you know any such stinkers so for that what you must be doing you must not be watching those netflix amazon or you know, any of your ott uh, platforms late nights or early mornings so definitely your sleep gets hampered and uh, everything you know gets disturbed okay so if we have to destroy those old habits and try to implement new habits you know wherein we say that you know we have to uh, reach office on time uh, you know and things like that then you have to make sure that you go to bed on time i mean you just calculate those 7 hours 6 hours of sleep whatever and plan it accordingly so you got to destruct destroy your old habits and that will take 22 days and suddenly you tell your body you know certain things like uh, okay from today i have to uh, stop smoking or drinking or anything or any addiction you want to uh, command your body do you think your body will respond immediately i uh, yes i uh. <laughs> no you will see a lot of resistance uh, it's not that easy and that will take 22 days for you to destroy those habits but be consistent consistency is the mother of mastery so be consistent then stage 2 is installation here we install new habit in our life so this takes another 22 days it means from day 1 you have started practicing that now it is kind of installed into your life so that's in your in your timetable 
it's there in your timetable so that you cannot stop okay so that becomes that is now installed in your timetable okay and stage 3 is integration here the new habit gets stored in your subconscious mind and in this way if we practice any habit for 66 days non stop it becomes part of our daily life naturally this is what you know mr robin sharma says and i very strongly believe in this habit installation protocol habit installation protocol try that try that and another important thing you know that i would like to emphasize from this book which i also uh, personally practice and have been uh, benefited from is this 20 20 20 rule now what do we mean by this you know 20 20 20 rule let me come here yeah 20 20 20 rule what is this all about okay now what he says is the first one hour of the day when we get up is very very important very very crucial for us very important and very crucial for us okay now what do we do how do we spend that one hour the first one that he says is in his language it is move reflect and grow but i have made it simple for you i call it as exercise okay first thing i mean exercise doesn't necessarily mean you know now we have to start uh, uh, you know making a six pack abs uh, you know or eight pack abs and become you know uh, patan you know sharuk khan so your goals may differ from person to person yeah if bodybuilding is your passion you want to you know uh, have that you know bodybuilding title then definitely you must go for that if that is your goal but no if you want to be part of you know fit india movement or you just want to be fit i mean only when all our all we citizens are fit india will also be fit india will also be healthy india will also be strong and then it would not just be the indian army which will combat the enemy but it will also be you and i with the little strength that lord has put in our arms right so the first thing is exercise you know most of the people today they get this heart strokes or brain strokes because or you know sometimes they get paralysis and all this just because there is lack of blood circulation why i am telling this in a tax class because i don't want you to die early <laughs> I mean it. I don't want you to die early. We are called to live. We are called to flow. We are called to grow. Okay. So, and I don't want you to die early. Okay. Just because of your bad habits. I don't want my students to go away like that. Yeah. You may be successful. You may be making more money. But in Telugu, you know, they say, Aripay Deepan ki veli You know, uh, the lamp that is going to uh, perish or you know going to shut down it will shine too bright is what you know they say a candle you know we should not be like that we must be eternally happy eternally healthy eternally prosperous and they must be in our faith we say shalom i mean every area of your life there must be goodness mercy and welfare progress and you must be a blessing for people for that to happen the blood must flow in your body and life of a human being is in the blood so if that blood is not moving in your body the blood circulation is not happening then obviously you know it will affect your life so make sure that you exercise first thing because it will release you know some uh, something called as BDNF, you know, brain derived neurotropic factor, wherein your cells become very active and you are able to do a lot of work in lesser time. Lesser time. So you can do high intensity exercises, your body permits, or walking, cross trainer. There's so many other things, you know, that you can do. The next one, next 20 minutes is learn. Learn something, you know, either you can study a book or you can listen. I mean, people like me, what they'll do, you know, they'll be exercising and then they'll be listening to something. So one and two gets covered, you know. And three is journal. Journal means plan. Like what we discussed yesterday also, you know, if you plan to fail, uh, sorry, if you, if you fail to plan, you're planning to fail. I repeat, if you fail to plan, you're planning to fail. And only the things that get planned are the things that get done. So it's very important that you plan, you journalize what is it that you want to do.
okay so don't miss out on this 2020 20, 20 rule sir i love to be in the gym you know for one hour two hours great amazing amazing then this 20 minutes doesn't work for you so make it one one hour one hour exercise one hour learning or half an hour exercise half an hour learning make it one hour together and journal for 10 minutes i mean this is a rule that he has given but there's no thumb rule that you should do only for 20 minutes i hope this is getting into you yeah